Hi, everyone. Uh, Seth here with the calving corner, and I'm here in our uh, calving. Um, we call it our calf shed. This is where we put together all of uh, the milk for the for the calves, which are right outside. And uh, these are my sisters, Sally and Cassie, and they are our lovely calf feeders today. And they do this um, most afternoons throughout the week. We feed our calves uh, at 3.30 in the afternoon and also around 6 a.m. in the morning. So they get two feedings a day. And uh, we're gonna start showing by showing you uh, how we dispense the milk. Um, we use a pasteurizer here. This is a um, UV pasteurizer where we take milk up from the cows uh, down in the parlor. We take a few cows milk out and we bring it up here in buckets and we pasteurize milk. So all the milk that is fed to the calves is milk that comes from our cows. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll dispense it into all these buckets and uh, then we'll take it up to the calves. So feel free guys. Um, as they're doing this, um, I'll kind of explain a little bit more. So on our farm, we, we feed our calves um, two different amounts of feed, so or of milk, I'm sorry, two different amounts of milk. So what we'll do is uh, we first, uh, they'll first start with bottles uh, when they're young. As you can see, Sally is filling a few bottles there. And then once we kind of train them to drink from a bucket, we'll start them with two quarts of milk. So each of those bottles there that you're seeing is holds two quarts of milk. Uh, and it's just, it's a reasonable, it's a small amount of milk for the calf to, to start on. Once that we wean them off of the bottle, we'll put them into a bucket, like you can see, and then they'll learn how to drink from a bucket and we'll feed them two quarts of milk um, as well. And uh, obviously our hose doesn't stretch quite as long as we might want it to. So we have to stretch a little bit and uh, through just time and, and many years of feeding calves, we've kind of figured out how much milk to give um, or how much milk to put it in the bucket just from eyeballing it. Um, so right now, Sally is filling three quart buckets, which is eventually what all calves will transition to as they get older. Um, so once Cassie starts taking the milk out, we'll follow her and see where it goes. So Cassie and Sally are well-trained and they take four buckets of milk at a time. Um, yeah, so I used to do this as a child as well. So, so this is what we do. We bring the milk out to each of the calves. You can see they're very excited to drink. They will jump into the milk, uh, as you can see. They're very excited. And this gives you a little bit of a view into how we house our young calves. We keep our calves in individual hutches um, with wires around just to keep them enclosed. And the reason that we keep them individual is because we we believe that it's really important to keep your calves really healthy, especially when they're young. So what we'll do is keep them in these individual hutches uh, so that they don't catch any any sicknesses or any other um, you know, anything else from the other calves. Um, it also helps keep them clean. Uh, as you can see, they have fresh bedding. Uh, we do that once or twice a week just to keep them uh, warm and, and uh, very clean. Um, Another thing that we do with the calves is, which we'll see later, we give them feed as well as the milk. So they get a grain feed uh, and there's a bucket inside their hutch, a black bucket that um, has all that feed in it. And now when they start, when they're young, they get small amounts of feed. And then as they get older, we give them more. And eventually we'll also wean them off of milk. So obviously, they can't drink milk forever. It's kind of like in the same way that humans have to be weaned off of milk eventually, or at least weaned off of milk from their mom, same with uh, calves. So they will drink milk to you know, develop their strength and get all those nutrients, those great nutrients in milk. And then they'll transition into um, more hard foods like grain and, and eventually they'll move to forage when they get older. So a lot of these calves, you can see some of them have ear tags. Uh, you might have noticed in some of our other other cows that we've shown, we keep we ear tag our calves in order to give them their number, which we also like to say is their name here on the farm. Um, we we call it their name because we really do refer to them by their number in the same way that you would refer to a cow uh, by saying, you know, her name is Betsy or something like that. 
Um, you can see right here, 2100. She will be known as 2100 as long as she is on our farm. And the reason we use numbers is, well, one, we have a lot of cows and it's a lot of names to try to come up with. And then two, we also, um, it helps us track our cows better with our, with our computer software and just being able to look at all the statistics to make sure that she is healthy and she is producing well. So as she gets older, we'll match her number to a collar that can tell, um, tell us how much she is eating, um, how much she, um, how active she is, and that'll help us determine um, you know, when she is in heat and when she will need to be bred and things like that. And eventually we'll be able to see how much milk she is giving once she becomes a milk giver here on Meadow Spring Farm. Cassie is hard at work taking all these, all these uh, milk buckets out, you can see. And um, as you can see, the calves love it. It's, it's their favorite thing in the day. Uh, they are so excited to eat. And they're very curious creatures, as you can see. Calves are, are very friendly. Um, although, while they are friendly, they may be a little bit timid. Uh, but they also really, uh, they just want to get food. That is what they really want to get. So they, they are very interested in that. If we come over here, um, my father, Andy, as you met him earlier, he is going to be feeding a bottle to one of the calves. So this calf would be younger than the calves that we just saw. When was this calf born, Dad? Or relatively? So this calf is three days old, as you can see here. She is untagged because we tag them when they get a little bit older. Um, and she is still drinking from a bottle, uh, which she'll probably be, be weaned off of in the next day, maybe a few days. So, oh yeah, we wean them from a bottle into a bucket, which I just mentioned earlier. That, and then eventually from that bucket, we'll wean them off of milk entirely. Yeah, so we could come over and see where the calves go when they're done uh, being in the hutch. Um, we have a little barn we call the transition barn. So the transition barn, this is kind of an in-between barn. Um, as you may have seen, from an earlier live stream, when we looked up, went up to our heifer barn where we saw uh, the calves that were born last year at Kevin Corner. Um, this is the barn that they stay at before they go to that big heifer barn. Um, these calves are a few months old and they stay in this barn for uh, maybe two months or so until they are old enough to move up, maybe even three months. They eat grain. This is where they, um, are fully weaned off of milk and they don't drink any milk anymore. Instead, they get grain and they also get water from our water troughs. Um, we keep, this is where they also get to socialize for the first time and we believe it's important for them to socialize once they're past um, the stage where they're susceptible to more sickness, which is what the younger ones are. So we think it's important for them to start to learn how to live together and live in groups because that's what they'll do the rest of their lives. They also are just really cute and fuzzy at this stage, which is always uh, really fun. On our farm, we have calves born um, every, well, we average about one and a half <laughs> over the year, which means we basically have one born every day uh, and sometimes a few born every day. Uh, it, really, it really varies. Um, you can see here with all of the different hutches and then with these calves in this barn. In the hutches, we probably have about 40 calves at a time, maybe even 50. And then in this barn, we have eight groups of eight calves. Uh, so another 64 in there. So on this farm, in general, we tend to have about 100 calves. So it's a lot of a lot of feeding, a lot of time to do that. Average time it takes to feed the calves uh, per day is about two hours per per feeding. So when we feed them twice a day, so that's four hours total.
yeah, so this is just a good look at what we do to um, keep our calves healthy. As you can see, they have fresh, fresh straw. And um, we'll do that once a week for sure, unless it's a uh, rainy or, or gross week. And then we'll, and then we might do a little more often. Um, some of them obviously look a little dirtier. Some, the bigger they get, um, the, uh, the more they'll, <laughs> they'll poop and they'll, you know, be a little dirtier. So we have to watch that when we are taking care of them and keeping them clean. And as, as we're walking up um, the barn here, you can see that they're getting bigger. And this is because these calves, uh, these young ones are older than the, the ones down there. And they've been here uh, uh, maybe a month longer than the others, or maybe even more. Uh, and then eventually they'll get so big that we'll move them up to uh, the next barn, which is the heifer barn. Um, and then we'll move a new group in and we'll start the process all over. I think the, the main thing to think about with dairy farming and farming in general is that it's just a lot of cycles, a lot of life cycles, a lot of, um, a lot of ins and outs and, and cows really um, just experiencing the full cycle of life. So, and then you can see these are the older cows. And then if you go over to the next pen, these are the youngest ones that have just moved in and they're considerably smaller, but um, they will eventually grow up and get just as big. So that's a look at our calfing, our calf area where we care for our calves on the farm. Um, we've shown you different ways that we feed them. Uh, one thing we did not show, but has already been done is we use a hose and give them all water and make sure they have fresh water every time that they are fed. Um, and in the winter, sometimes that water will freeze. So we have to knock the ice out and give them some norm, uh, new water, which is normally warm water. Um, and they love to, to drink that up as well. Yeah, so we keep, we do keep our calves in hutches uh for, for a few months um and they'll be there um throughout you know throughout the year they're um they're pretty weatherproof inside the, each hutch it's actually fairly it's pretty warm um and we even <laughs> one time when we had a big snow um it it would kind of insulated the hutches and kept it even warmer for the calves in there and when it gets really cold we will put uh, little jackets on the calves to keep them warm especially the young ones um because again as they get older their immune systems get stronger and they also develop more more body fat and more hair uh not more hair but <laughs> but they'll uh they'll just stay warmer in general and when they're young they need a little bit more care in that area so um cows are pretty resilient creatures and they really uh, they enjoy temperatures specifically um, from 50 to 75 degrees, um, but when it gets cold, um, we can try to do as much as we can to keep them warm. As you can see in the back of this barn, we have curtains and that will help block out some of the wind that could come in here, especially in the winter, that really keeps it a lot warmer. Yeah, so that's a pretty comprehensive look at our calf area, uh, calf care 101. It's not rocket science, but it's also something that we need to care for all the time. Um, cows are living creatures and we are here to take care of them and make sure they are healthy and happy. And that is what we hope for here at Meadow Spring Farm. And the reason we want that is because uh, happy cows and, and happy calves uh, eventually produce high quality milk and we it's a good exchange and we really we really care about that so you can be assured that the cows uh, are very happy and very content here so that's a look at our calving area and uh, thanks for joining us <laughs>